So, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Pasensya na, I cannot show my face dahil walang walang flip-flip itong camera ng phone ko. But anyway, I'm Billy Sent B. Makosa and I'm here for a pre-taped episode of Open Arms for Hands in Inclusion. Ang ating episode ngayon ay may pamagat na How to Boost Your Immune System. Kailangan kailangan natin ito lalo na at kaka-declare lang kanina ng state of calamity sa buong Pilipinas dahil sa outbreak ng COVID-19 all over the world. It's especially important na kailangan nating palakasin ang ating resistensya. When it comes to fighting coronavirus, alam naman nating lahat na hand washing and avoiding those na maaring may COVID-19 ay mga key precautions. Experts say, however, na ang pagpapalakas ng ating resistensya may also give us an edge in fending off viruses at pananatili in good health ngayong season. Let's discuss some five smart steps para madagdagan sa ating to-do list. First of all, we have to stay active. Sa ngayon, we cannot go to the gym dahil there are instances na pwedeng mag-develop ang harmful bacteria dito. The reality is, however, working out is a powerful way to boost your immune system. Sabi ni Mark Moyad, MD, MPH, na isang Jenkins Pokemner Director of Preventive and Alternative Medicine sa University of Michigan Medical Center. Exercise causes our body's antibodies and white blood cells to circulate more rapidly, which means they may be able to detect and zero in on bugs more quickly. Ang pagiging active like this ay nakakabawas din ng stress hormones, kaya mababawasan ng chances of getting sick. There is also a suggestion according to research that exercises effects may be directly relevant sa pag sa panlalaban sa viruses according to a recent study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine sa mga isang libo dalawang people surveyed 1002 ang mga nakapag-exercise at least 5 days a week had almost half the risk of coming down with a cold kagay kaysa sa mga sedentary or hindi nag-exercise. If they did get one, they reported less severe symptoms. Meron ding protective benefits sa pamagitan ng pagpapawis when we have a sweat session. Ang pag-increase sa body temperature via exercise may actually help kill germs in their tracts. We must do exercise in moderation though. Dahil, doing too much can still put so much stress in our body too. It can depress our immune system. For most days of the week, whether vigorous or moderate, dapat 30 to 60 minutes of exercise. Baga, 30 minutes hanggang 1 hour. Kung meron ka naman takot sa germs, Pwede namang maglakad na lang outdoors without having to go to the fitness center or gym. Another thing is, watch our diet. There's a recommendation na kapag nakafocus ang tao sa Mediterranean style of eating, kailangan rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats ang ating diet. Kagaya ng mga nasa fatty fish, nuts, and olive oil. Dahil ito ay mataas sa nutrients gaya ng vitamin C, zinc, and other antioxidants na makakatulong sa pagbabawas ng inflammation or pamamaga at makaka-fight ng infection. Adults between the ages of 65 and 79 who followed a Mediterranean type of diet na sinabayan pa ng daily 400 IU vitamin D supplement for a year. 
ay nakapagpakita ng small increases in disease-fighting cells such as T-cells. According to a 2018 study published in the journal Frontiers in Psychology, it's also important na limitahan ng karne or meat, especially processed and fried foods, which are all more inflammatory. A whole food diet is more recommended dahil it's also smart to include fermented foods such as yogurt, sauerkraut, miso, and kefir in our daily diet. Para magkaroon ng development or growth ng good bacteria sa ating bituka or gut, which in turn supports a healthy gut and immune system. Stay on top of stress, everyone. Lalo, ng hayo, lalo na sa ganitong sitwasyon. There's a strong link between your immune health or mental health. Dahil kapag nasa ilalim tayo ng chronic stress or anxiety, your, our bodies produce stress hormones na nakakaabala ng immune system natin. In a research done at Carnegie Mellon University, people who have more stress ay mas susceptible of developing the common cold. Mas prone baga sa sipo ng mga mas may stress. In a study published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, There are 276 healthy adults na na-exposed sa cold virus tsaka na-monitor sa quarantine for 5 days. Ang mga nakaranas na stress were more likely to produce cytokines or cytokines. These are molecules na, na nakaka-trigger ng inflammation and were about as twice as likely na magkasakit or to get sick. In addition, Kapag stress daw ang tao, they are also less likely to pay attention to other healthy habits kagaya nung wastong pagkain and getting enough sleep na nakaka-affect din sa ating immunity. All of us cannot avoid stress in our lives but some strategies can be adopted to help it manage better. In a 2012 study published in Annals of Internal Medicine For adults 15 and older, ang mga nakakapag-exercise routine or perform mindfulness meditation were less likely na magkasakit with a respiratory infection kaysa sa subjects in a control group. And if nagkasakit man sila, they missed fewer days of work. Um, some of us might consider about going out to meet a friend for dinner or attending a book club. Which right now cannot do dahil po meron tayong uh, social distancing. Let's stay healthy everyone. It's more important. What about considering it in a less crowded space kapag pwede na kesa i-cancel natin? Well, canceling is the better option right now. Research shows that the more social ties we have, we're also gonna be more susceptible to the common cold dahil friendships can serve as well as a buffer against stress. And get enough sleep, everyone! Dahil ang pagtulog ay isa pang natural immune system booster. It's likened sa computer ang ating resistensya dahil kailangan nito ng sapat na pahinga para hindi mag-overheat. Sleep reboots the system. Kapag kulang tayo sa tulog, our body churns out stress hormones like cortisol to keep you awake and alert na nakakasupress sa ating immune system. Ang mga nakakatulog ng full 8 hours have had higher levels of T-cells kaysa sa kinukulang sa tulog according to a 2019 study. Let's please try na makatulog ng 7 hours a night. In in a 2015 study na nakapublish sa journal Sleep. 
it says people who did get to sleep for seven hours were four times less likely na magising na may sipon kaysa sa hindi nakakatulog ng seven hours or even six. Kailangan din nating maging strategic people about supplements. Right now, there is no magic herb or vitamin that we can take para automatic na ma-prevent ang cold, flu, or other virus. However, sa isang 2017 review of 25 studies published in the British Medical Journal, It says a moderate daily dose of vitamin D may offer protection kung hindi tayo nakaka-expose na madalas sa sunshine vitamin. The best way to find out kung kulang tayo sa vitamin D ay magpa-blood test ng blood levels. It should be 20 to 39 nanograms per milliliter. If it's within that range for, for any of us here, Kailangan natin ng daily supplement of 600 to 800 IU. Pero kung mababa ang ating vitamin D, kapag pwede, na, kapag pwede na, we can talk to our doctors about additional supplementation up to 2,000 IU a day. We must take it with meals, according to Dr. Todd Cooperman. Meals na may fats or oils para... mas ma-effective ang at ang pag-absorb. Zinc supplements, for example naman, ay nagiging viral para ma-prevent ang coronavirus. It has been shown naman to reduce the severity and duration of colds, but wala pang research na nakakapag pamungkahe or suggest that it can protect against coronavirus. Many older adults can take plenty of zinc dahil sa mga supplements like Okivite to treat conditions kagaya ng age-related macular degeneration. If we start piling up more zinc on top of that, we might run a real risk of developing zinc-related toxicity. There is also no good evidence that other popular supplements like vitamin C and elderberry can help. Let's just cook naman daw, according to Lynn, with herbs kagaya nung bawang or garlic, ginger, rosemary, oregano, and turmeric. These have all been shown na may anti-inflammatory properties and some like garlic have even been shown na makakapag-protect laban sa sipon. The, Lynn says that when her patients ask her about taking supplements to enhance the immune system, ito nire-recommend niya, food, food, food is also medicine. Some of us may have this in our backyard. Let's consider adding it sa pagluluto. Naman. Para makatipid-tipid din. Now, let's let's have this discussion about foods na makaka, makaka-boost ng ating immune system. As coronavirus or COVID-19 has impacted communities around the world, Many people have wondered whether there are steps that can be taken to stay healthy. Everyday preventive measures, kagaya ng hand washing, avoiding contact with sick individuals, and good hygiene, can go a long way in reducing your risk for viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens. First, let's consider our diet. When we eat a low-fat and plant-based diet, makaka-boost ito ng ating immune system. Ang ating resistance or immune system relies on white blood cells that produce antibodies upang malabanan ng bacteria, viruses, and other invaders. Studies have shown that vegetarians have more effective white blood cells compared to those who eat meat or non-vegetarians 
dahil sa matataas na intake ng vitamins and low intake of fat. Kapag low fat diet din ng ating kinain, it can be protective too. According to several studies, ang paglimit ng dietary fat can help strengthen immune defenses. Research also shows that oil may impair white blood cell function and that high fat diets may alter the gut microbiota. <laughs> I believe it's good bacteria that aid in immunity. Let's also maintain a healthy weight para may magandang effect sa immune system. It's because obesity has been linked to increased risk for influenza o kaya trangkaso and other infections kagaya ng pneumonia. Plant-based diets are effective for weight loss dahil sa gana sila sa fiber dahil it can help us fill up makakapusog ito without adding extra calories. Fiber can also lower body mass index or BMI, which is linked to improved immunity. A plant-based diet has also been shown to reduce inflammatory biomarkers. Vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. There are also studies that show that fruits and vegetables provide nutrients kagaya ng beta-carotene, vitamins C and E, that can boost immune function. There are a lot of veggies, fruits, and other plant-based foods na sagana na nga sa antioxidants so much that they can help reduce oxidative stress. First of all, let's talk about beta-carotene. What is beta-carotene? First, it's, an, it's a powerful antioxidant that can reduce inflammation and boost immune function by increasing disease-fighting cells in the body. Excellent sources of beta-carotene include sweet potatoes, carrots, and green leafy vegetables. Vitamins C and E, on the other hand, are antioxidants that help to destroy free radicals and support the body's natural immune response. Sources of vitamin C include red peppers, oranges, strawberries, broccoli, mangoes, lemons, and other fruits and vegetables. Ang mga sources naman ng vitamin E ay mga mane or nuts, seeds, spinach, and broccoli. Vitamin D research shows that vitamin D supplementation may reduce the risk for viral infections including respiratory tract infections sa pamamagitan ng reduction ng pagproduce ng pro-inflammatory compounds sa ating katawan. Increased vitamin D in the blood has been linked to prevention of other chronic diseases kagaya ng TB or tuberculosis, hepatitis, and cardiovascular diseases. Food sources of vitamin D include fortified cereals and plant-based milk kagaya ng almond milk and soya milk and supplements. Zinc is a mineral that can help boost white blood cells which defend against invaders getting harmful bacteria. Sources include nuts, pumpkin seeds, <laughs> kawai kawai sa mga mahilig sa pumpkin seeds, <laughs> sesame seeds, beans, and lentils. What's, what's also important, lalong lalo na ngayon, ay ang pagtulog again and again. We need sleep to rest and recharge. Kapag kinulang tayo kasi sa tulog, we increase our risk for developing serious health problems. Kagaya ng heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, and obesity. Inadequate sleep has also been linked to suppressed immune function. One study found na ang mga nakakatulog ng less than 5 hours kada gabi, are also more likely to have recently suffered a recent cold, 
kaga kaisa sa mga mas maraming oras ang pagdulog. 6 to 8, ganun. If some of you na nanonood ay kailangan ng tulong para makatulog, why don't we add healthful fruits, vegetables, grains, and beans sa diet? In a study, ang mga ganitong diet, rich in fiber and low in saturated fat, can lead to deeper, more restorative, restorative sleep. We can have a lot of time to learn more about how a plant-based diet can lead to better sleep. Right before we end this discussion or video, muli nating idasal ang Oratio Imperata laban sa coronavirus disease 2019. Magkapangyarihan at mapagmahal na Ama. Lumalapit kami sa iyo sa aming panangangailangan upang hilingin ng proteksyon laban sa coronavirus disease 2019 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumikitil ng maraming buhay. Nagmamakaawa kami mapagmahal na Ama. Nagabayan mo ang mga taong nag-aaral kung saan ang galing at sanhinang epidemiyang ito at sa mabilis na pagkalat nito. Gabayan mo ang mga kamay at isipan ng mga eksperto sa medical na maaari silang maglingkod sa mga may sakit na may kakayanan at pakikiramay. At sa mga gobyerno at pribadong ahensya na silang dapat makapaghanap ng lunas at solusyon sa epidemyang ito. Iligtas mo kami sa lahat ng uri ng karamdaman. Pagalingin mo ang mga may sakit. At buhayin mo sa amin ang pagkakawang gawa upang kalingain namin ang bawat isa. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo ang anak mo na nabubuhay at nagahari kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo. Iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Mahal na birahin, mapagpagaling sa mga may sakit ipanalangin mo kami San Rafael ang Arkanghel ipanalangin mo kami San Roque ipanalangin mo kami Ina ng Kaligtasan ipanalangin mo kami San Lorenzo Ruiz ipanalangin mo kami San Pedro Kalungsod ipanalangin mo kami So, this has been our Open Arms episode for tonight. We hope na meron kayong mga natutunang panibago and how we can help in boosting our immune system through these simple tips na aming naibahagi. You may comment down kung, kung may mga... Alam kayong other tips that could really help in boosting our immune system. Sa ganitong parahon, we really have to be more cautious at hanggat maaari, stay at home and stay healthy and vigilant. This has been Bilicent Makuse for Open Arms. See you all in the next episode.